Peter Maguire, I think, is now uh, with us, uh, Chief Executive Officer at Exim Australia. He's with us to uh, talk to us about what uh, he's making at the jump in oil prices, which are nearly $81. Peter, good to have you with us here. Is this, uh, is it going to be short-lived, temporary, uh, the jump in oil? Well, good morning, Prashad. I don't know whether it'll be short-lived. So uh, we're just going to see what, uh, how it how it plays out as far as the situation in the Red Sea, of course, with the Houthi rebels, and well, what the costs are going to be as far as uh, transport and taking different routes into Europe and so on. So it's really going to be a very interesting couple of weeks how this all plays out. And if it was to escalate, then I think that you're going to see further upside considerable for uh, for crude. Uh, we've just, or if it dissipates, then the, you know the heat will come out of it. So we're just in that uh, that holding pa holding phase at the moment, I think. Peter, hi. Seasons greetings. That's a lovely looking tree right behind you. It's uh, you know we can feel the cheer all the way here in our uh, new studios. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, but just to expand on that point, because there's a lot of moving parts, and you have this task force coming together to kind of secure the shipping lines there through the Suez. Uh, yeah. If we work with the assumption for a second that this gets reined in, and we go back to just pure demand supply dynamics in the market, then what is the range that you would forecast, say, uh, as we get into January? I think you'd probably look at you know those low take uh, from a Brent situation. I think you'd strip you know six or seven dollars out of it, so it'd be under seventy five, and probably WTI high sixties to early seventies. I think that'd be the range. But if you put the geopolitics in there, then that changes the whole dynamic as far as uh, you know. Well, just it just changes the dynamic. It's nearly a war premium building in. So just to to repeat the number there, purely demand supply. Uh, what do you think well, the cap, cap could be? Well, I think you'd be looking at, uh, as far as WTI, high 60s to early 70s, so it'll strip a few dollars out of where it is at the moment. And Brent, you'd prob probably be, you know, that 72 to $75 range. So I think there's 5 or $6 built in at the moment. Uh, when you say if the situation escalates, uh, Peter, what, what, what would you mean? I mean, you know, uh, now uh, there are, there, there's an effort concerted effort to <clears throat> so resolve the situation, right? I mean, Musk is saying that we'll take that route once again. Uh, how would it go the other way? Well, if it does go the other way, Prashant, and you know as well as I do, the delicacy as far as um, transportation and what you're going to do as far as tankers going through that whole region and everything that travels through the sewers. So if that was to be uh, a, a choke point, similar to what we've seen in years gone by with the Strait of Hormuz, then that changes the footprint as far as freight costs. All of that escalates from an inflation side and naturally from a crude perspective. Uh, I think you'd probably, you could put on easily another 5 to $10 in the short run. So we've just got to see how it trades and, uh, and the traders will show that. We'll see that it'd be dynamic as far as open interest and what uh, I think what projections are going to be across hedge funds and naturally all trade as retail and, and uh, commercials. Well, I have to say, Peter, that, uh, you know, everyone seems, at least on the equity side, when we speak with people, very sanguine, that almost convinced that, uh, you know, this is, this is short-lived and it'll come off. Yeah. There's no reason for prices to keep going uh, higher. So uh, that's, that's, I find some, that interesting uh, to note, right? But markets have well, a way exactly. to, uh, to surprise us. They find a way. Well, they're very much so, and this is what the delicacy of these markets are, and also contrarians that see that, and I'm not suggesting I'm a contrarian at this stage, but very much you've got to look at the big picture as far as, again, what Subay said, as far as the moving parts. The moving parts, are, there are so many dynamics playing out here, and price discovery is going to be, I think, the determinant, how it all plays into what one factor, and that is going to be the price. And, uh, you know, you've had a very strong move to the upside for equities. It's been a bumper year. It's been nothing short of outstanding. And uh, if that momentum continues, then that's fantastic leading into 24. But uh, the crude could be a little bit of a disruption as far as price, I would say. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. It's our job to, uh, to look at all the factors at play, positive or negative, and let's see which way oil swings. Thank you very much, Peter. And once again, wish you, uh, you know, a great holiday season, the rest of it, and a fantastic start to 2024 as well. Thank you. With that, uh, thank you. With that, let's uh, head back.